today on The Supernatural Now. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Jesus Christ, don't mix your faith. Not little faith in other God. Not little faith in money. Not little faith in science. No, on Jesus, on the person of Jesus Christ. He is the only way. The Supernatural Now with Apostle Guillermo Maldonado. Hello everyone, welcome to The Supernatural Now. I'm Apostle Guillermo Maldonado and we welcome you and I want you to be ready to receive this powerful message called End Time Faith. How can we appropriate the end time faith? You know in the end time we see the fullness of all things. We are seeing something that we've never seen before the fullness of the anointing, the fullness of faith, the fullness of the glory of God. We must expect divine explosion of faith, of the anointing and the glory of God. I want you to see this powerful message in the meantime. As you watch this show, I want you to give us a call and let us know. We're going to be praying for you. If you have any need, we pray for you. Let's watch this powerful message, End Time Faith. Let's watch. I want you to go to the scriptures, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit, talking about the Holy Spirit, expressly says that in the latter times, today are the latter times, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. If you notice the expression, will depart from the faith meaning that will deny, they will oppose, they will deny the true faith in Jesus. That's what he's saying, the true faith in Jesus. And let me give you an introduction that in, there's so many things today called faith. If you ask every believer uh, today and you say, do you believe, where is your faith on? What person? And everybody's going to tell, oh, yeah, I believe in Jesus. I'm a Christian. And there are so many people that we call faith today, but actually we're living in the times of the replacements. In other words, we call something faith, but in reality is a replacement of faith. Uh, for example, optimism. Many people say, uh, have you heard this? This when people tell you, be optimistic. Be optimistic. That's no faith. Faith, hope, and all these are replacements of faith. And now, after you make faith just a natural thing, it becomes a formula, it becomes a myth, and it becomes a legend. So, lacking the supernatural. Every time you have a replacement, you will see that lacks the supernatural power God in it. When your faith is not founded properly, is not established in Jesus Christ and in the power of God, this is what happened. Number one, you be easily shaken. Number two, when your faith is not established, is not found, you will be open for other points of view. So easily shaken, open for more opinions, and opens for more points of view. So... We understand now that we want to make sure our faith is a strong, found, founded, and established in Jesus Christ and the power of God. Can I hear an amen, people? No, we understand that. So I, wanna, I want you to write this down. And my advice to you, and the scriptures tells you, so that your faith should not be found in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. So I want you to write this down, please. 
because faith cannot be found in three things. And if you want your faith to be strong, your faith cannot be in these things that I will tell you. And I want you to write it down. First, your faith cannot be found, number one, traditions of men. Your faith cannot be established in traditions of men. What is a tradition? A tradition is a mindset that is passed on from generation to generations, and we don't know why. That is a tradition. We passed on things. We passed beliefs, doctrines, teachings, and we tell the next generation, this is what I want you to do, but we don't know why we do it. There's so many people said, I do have faith in Christ because my parents are Christians. No, sir. When Jesus comes back, you're not going to go in the rapture. You make sure you don't have faith in, your, in the God of your parents. You have faith in your own personal God. You need to have faith. Do not trust. So traditions of men. Lift your hands and say traditions of men. So a tradition is something that is passed on. It's a mindset. It's a way of thinking. And then you tell the person next to you, okay, okay, this is, if I can bring my kids and I say, children, this is what I want you to preach from now on. They call into ministry. And they keep doing exactly what I do, but they don't know why. That is a tradition. So your faith cannot be based in tradition. So I want you to go to Mark 7, 13. Mark 7, 13. And you will see, for example, making the word of God of no effect through your tradition, my God, making the word of God with no effects. Can you imagine? Tradition has so much power that make the word of God with no effect. The tradition of men has so much effect. So much power that it eliminate, cancel the effect of the word in our hearts. He said, Jesus said, uh, Paul said, I don't want your faith to be founded in traditions of men. Because this is tradition. It will eliminate, it will cancel the effect of the word. So he said, what tradition does? Write it down. Tradition causes people to be poor. Number two, tradition causes people to be sick. Traditions of men causes people to be sick. People are poor today because they told you that if you're poor, you, you a spiritual person, you holy. That's a lie. Number two, tradition causes the people to be sick. What did they say? Oh, that sickness. God sent you that sickness to humble you. There's no sickness in heaven. That's a tradition. Number three, tradition causes the word at no effect. And number four, tradition blocks the power of God. I'm going to say it again. Tradition blocks the power of God. Every place I go, every country I go, when I found traditions in the mind of the people, it blocks the power of God. It blocks the presence of God. Let's break those traditions and let's bring the power of God. Somebody have to shout. Tradition, write it down. Tradition brought people into bondage and abandoned the true faith in Jesus. Every traditional person abandoned the faith in Jesus Christ. Now they have a tradition. When you have a tradition, you have a formula. When you have a tradition, you have blocked the power of God and nothing can flow. Galatians chapter 3 verse 1 through 5. I want you to see how Galatians mentioned this. Because the Galatians church, they were so powerful. They moved in the spirit. And suddenly they departed from the faith. Oh, foolish Galatians, who bewitch you, Galatians, that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified. 
This is only, this only I learned from you. Did you receive the spirit of the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Come on, verse 3. Are you foolish? He said, have you suffered so many things in vain and indeed was in vain? Verse 5. Therefore, he supplies the spirit to you and works miracles among you. Does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? But in other words, the question is this. What is the origin of your faith? What is your faith established on? Okay, I want you to write it down. The person of Jesus Christ. And see what I said, the person of Jesus Christ. Why I emphasize the person. Your faith, write it down. This is revelation. Your faith must be in a person before it's on things. Your faith must be in a person before it's on things. Things are temporal. And when you have your faith in things, do not confuse having the object of your faith is not the things that you're believing for. The object of your faith is the person. Because when that thing doesn't come through, you're in trouble. Can I hear an amen? Your faith must be in the person of Jesus Christ. Outside of Jesus, there is no faith. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is the substance of the things for. Who's the substance? Faith is the substance. Jesus is the substance. Substance in itself doesn't have reality. It has to be a person. You remove Jesus, you don't have no faith. So who's Jesus? And I'm going to proclaim it and I say it to the nations of the earth. Jesus Christ. Lift your hand. Say it. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ is the truth, the life, and the way. Say that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is the highest expression of God revealed to us. Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God. Say, Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Say, Jesus Christ is the offer and the finisher of my faith. Say, Jesus Christ is the offer. Who is Jesus? Is the substance of your faith. Is the substance of your faith. Jesus cannot be shaken. Jesus cannot be shaken. All hell can break loose. But nothing will touch you. Nothing will shake you. Because your faith is in a person. Somebody have to shout. Somebody have to declare. Somebody have to be established. Somebody have to lift their hands and say, My faith is in the person of Jesus Christ. The offer, the beginning, the offer, the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end, the image of God, the Son of God. I declare over the internet, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Jesus Christ, don't mix your faith. Not little faith in other God. Not little faith in money. Not little faith in science. No, on Jesus, on the person of Jesus Christ. He is the only way. Prando Sota, Prata Sita. My God, I want you to be established. If the doctor gave you a bad report, stand in your faith in Jesus. If you got bad report in your finances, stand in your faith in Jesus Christ. I refuse to believe bad reports. I believe in Jesus. I, my faith is in the rock of the ages. My faith, your faith is in the rock. Nothing can move it. So three people, tell them, what is your faith founded in? Oh, Jesus. All the people watching, say with me, Father God, Father God. today, I come before you and I ask you to forgive me if my faith was on things or other things or people. 
I repent and I declare and I make a quality decision I make a quality decision that from today on I put my faith all my faith in the person of Jesus Christ no more mixtures say it out say Jesus you are my savior you are my lord you are the invisible God manifested in the flesh Jesus right now nothing will shake me you my rock I'm not gonna be moved I put my faith in you I put my faith in the finished work I put my faith on the power of God and say with me father I want to experience your power fill me with the Holy Ghost fill me with power right now right now in the name of Jesus receive the praise nothing will shake me right now I will be I will not be shaken in the name of Jesus amen and amen put your hands together yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord So this is Andrea. She's been coming here for two and a half years. Her entire life, there's been a generational curse of in her family that she was not able to speak to her brothers and her sisters. She came here. She began sewing. She began believing. She would come up to the altar, receive prayer. She would go to the house of peace, receive prayer, until all of a sudden, God did a miracle. This past Sunday, all her brothers and her sisters got together for the first time over and over six years since her dad passed. That's not it, Dad. Since she came here two and a half years ago she was working for Miami Dade Public Schools for six years nothing happened she got connected here she began giving she began receiving prayer she began fasting and then all of a sudden she received a call from Miami Dade Public School saying look we don't know we are gonna give you this job ten thousand dollars increase in her job wait it doesn't end there then all of a sudden they called her six months later and then they gave her another promotion she was believing that she was gonna have to go to school but God did the miracle in her life. Come on, daughter, tell me. Well, I actually work for a nonprofit organization with youth that are on probation. I was working for Dade County Public Schools for six years. The next morning, that Monday, someone called me. My cousin recommended for me for a job, a $10,000 pay increase. I was working for the, the company called Eckert for six months. I got another position for transition coordinator working directly with youth that are on probation. Um, supernaturally, my family, I had an event. I launched my outreach ministry last Sunday of women and youth that are in fifth through ninth grade that are hurting. I had three souls saved, and women, even pastor's wife, have been calling, saying they've been restored, and that God is working. So, so I thank God, God for you. restore your family. Yes, my family, God. my mom and I, my dad passed six years ago, and we literally were about to fight. I could not talk to my mom and my sister. It was a generational curse of witchcraft and everything. But Sunday and through the last year and a half, my mom and I call each other, tell her that we love each other. She comes to the ministry. My sister comes here. Come on, and God Lord. is just awesome. He's just yeah. doing it. Yes. Jeez, uh, put your hands together. Thank you. So this young man, his name is Thomas. He's a student in FIU in communications. Since the fast starting, he says that the Spirit of God came to him and he has become a radical giver. He gave and gave and gave mm. until he could give no more. Last week, the Holy Spirit said, I want you to give more. He was hurt. He was crying. But he said, I'm going to obey the Holy Spirit. I'm going to give more. As soon as he gave more, he went home and he received an email from FIU saying, we have extra money to give to you towards a scholarship for your tuition. Wow. This is the first testimony right here. Yeah, tell me, son. Um, I want to give honor to you because what you preach is what we have to practice. Yes. And last week, the Lord 
put it on my heart to give an offering. And it was all that I had because during the fast, I was giving and giving. And the following Monday morning, before I woke up, Mm -hmm. I received an email from my college institution, FIU, saying that they had extra money added onto my scholarship and that it's been awarded to me. Come on, come on. And her testimony is on finance. She started two years ago as a cashier in Walmart making $9 an hour. Two years later, she got three promotions, and now she's making not, not, not $9 an hour, she is making $25 an hour, and she's an assistant manager in less than two years. God did it. But, but you, you did, wait, wait a minute. But you didn't tell me what is behind it. Nothing just happened. Okay, tell me, daughter. Dad, I'm a sore of this house. Come on, yes. I'm a believer of this house. I stand on God's word. Come on. I don't be moved by what I see. I walk by faith and not by sight. God is supernatural. For all of you going through financial troubles, trust in God because he is your supplier. He supplies every one of your needs. He's supernatural. Come on. Okay, I want you to speak to those people that are watching over there. To all, all, the all those single women. To all the single Come women. Come on, daughter. Never give up on God Come because on. God will not give up on you. Come on. Get out of the dead churches. Come to a live church and let God do a miracle in your life. Let him put a fire in you that will never go out. In the name of Jesus, he's your supplier. He will give you everything you need. He will give you the husband, the job, the promotion, everything you need. I am a witness. He is risen. Apostle, this family started coming to King Jesus in 2015. At the end of 2015, they accepted Christ. Their marriage was not okay. It was falling apart. His wife Mm. was pregnant with the baby here that she's holding, and she said, Lord, there's got to be something greater. I'm believing for a miracle. You made a calling for people who had cysts. She was told when the baby was in her womb that there was a cyst on her brain. She passed to the front. One of your Ephesians prayed for her. She gave birth. The baby was healed. From that point, she said, Lord, I'm believing for something greater. They started praying for their marriage. They went to the marriage retreat this year in June, and their marriage was completely restored. Wow. Wow. So tell me something. Our marriage was a shambles. Um, We came to King Jesus, and it turned around 180 degrees. What was the condition of your marriage? Unfaithfulness. Wow. Wow. And we have been restored 100%. The marriage retreat turned us around. We've got a beautiful daughter. She came sick with the cyst and then the Lord healed her. Yes. Daughter, tell me. They told me that at six months, they told me she has a cyst in her brain. Um, You know, we'll wait when she's born. And when she was born, the cyst disappeared. When I brought her here, they prayed for her, and I believed she was going to be healed, and she was. Tell me, um, what kind of husband did you have before, and now what you have now? I had an excellent husband until, you know, life happened, I guess. And now it's, it's better, much better. God is in our life. God is first in everything we do. God is first in our marriage. He is our guidance through raising our kids and being together as a marriage. Put your hand together, people. If you were touched by the program today, please call or write to us now. Our operators are standing by. There is only one name that the angels cry out of creation. To show Yeshua. time faith this message was very very powerful 
My friend, if you're watching and if you never received Jesus as your personal Savior and you want to have a close relationship with God, maybe you emptied, uh, filled, you feel uh, fear, uh, you're going through crisis in your life and you say, I need God, I need Jesus. Can you do this prayer with me? This prayer is to invite Jesus to come into your heart. And from now on, you start a new relationship with God. Repeat after me out loud. Say, Father God, I recognize that I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Jesus, come into my heart right now. Amen and amen. If you did this prayer, thank you for calling. Thank you again. God bless you. See you next time. Intimacy is the place where you open your heart and God opens His. To discover how to pursue the Lord in a new level of intimacy and fellowship, we want to present you these powerful tools by Apostle Guillermo Maldonado, a new DVD series, Intimacy and Fellowship with God, and his latest book, Daily Encounters with God, a supernatural devotional. You can get this package for a limited time for only $29. Visit kingjesusministry.org or call us now at 877-286-5585. Also, you can write to us at P.O. Box 771-330, Miami, Florida, 33177. There is a supernatural encounter coming to a city near you. Phoenix, Arizona, July 14th and 15th, Church of God for the Nations, 15025 North 19th Avenue, Phoenix, Arizona, 85023, Office 602-841-0406. For more information, visit SupernaturalEncounter.org. TV. Access the supernatural anywhere. The previous program was paid for by the friends and partners of Apostle Guillermo Maldonado and King Jesus International Ministries.